Hi, Suzanne Orton, publisher of OnTheGoGo.com. We're here for round two of Cocktails with Columbine. We're in Bend, Oregon at Blacksmith, and today we're gonna make something which is really exotic and fun, but perfect for these hot summer days. That is the mojito. So Columbine, can you tell us a little bit about the mojito? Yeah, so the mojito originated in Cuba. It's one of the oldest cocktails. It originated in the 16th century and it was originally made for Sir Francis Drake. It had this name like Jarquito or Jarquismo or something like this. It was originally made with this really wretched form of rum called Aguardiente. And then about 100 years later, they started using regular rum and changed the name to Mojito. The name Mojito comes from an African word from the slaves that were there called Mojo, which meant to place a little spell. Oh, oh I love happens. it. I love After you it. drink a really, really delicious mojito on a hot summer's day. So we have a little mojo in our mojito, it sounds like. Columbi, can you talk a little bit about the rum? I mean, this is really cool looking stuff. Um, how is it different? What is there an impact using different types of rums? Whatever type of alcohol you use is greatly going to affect the flavor of the drink. And in this case, I want to use the Boca Loca, which is a rum from Brazil. It's got a really nice silky flavor to it, but Shaka tends to have a little tiny bit of a smoky flavor in it, and it really adds a new dynamic to the mojito. And that's Fantastic. why I chose the Boca Loca today. That's great. I'm excited to get started. So, where do we begin? So. To make a mojito, you just need really four basic ingredients. You need fresh mint, lime, sugar, and rum. And then you can top it off with a little bit of soda water. So we're going to take about half of a lime, you're going to cut it into lime segments, and you're going to take about eight mint leaves. Oh, look at that, and the smell. Is this a specific kind of mint, or this is just, will anything do? Uh, if you have mint in your garden, by all means, go out there and pick it and turn it into a oh, mojito. Love that. So I like to muddle just using about two very, very little ice. The point of muddling isn't to break it apart to lose the flavor, it's to get the essential oils out of whatever you happen to be muddling. I just find a little piece of ice helps to break it down a little bit more. I'm just going to muddle until you get all the juice out of the lime and break down that mint just a little bit. You don't want to break it down until you get like a grassy flavor out of it. And this smells amazing. Oh. I can smell it from here. It's just incredible. I have to take a little bit of a whip here. Oh my gosh. Talk about refreshing. <laughs> so good. So now we're just going to add two teaspoons of sugar to it. We're going to add some more ice. And then we're going to add about two ounces of our rum. And as we mentioned before, pouring can be a bit of an issue. So if you're not comfortable pouring like a professional, like Columbine, make sure and use the little tools. Yes, yeah, use the little tools. We're going to add a little bit more ice to our shaker. And then we're going to shake. Back to the workout. And then it's done. Oh my this is the traditional mojito glass. It's also called a Collins glass. You're gonna just dump the whole drink. You don't even need to strain it. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Add a little bit more ice for a hot summer's day, and then top it off with some sparkling water. And there you go, the mojito. The mojito. What a beautiful, perfect drink for these dog days of summer. Yes. Well, thank you, Columbine. You're welcome. And we are, of course, at Blacksmith in Bend, Oregon. Check us out on the go-go.com.